Okay, I got a problem. This is too wide to go onto the base. So um, I'm going to attempt, it's still soft, I mean, I can move it. I'm going to attempt to throw this um, and collar it along. Then I've got a lot of clay here. So I'm going to center it on here and see if I can't collar it in. We'll see. Either that or I need to throw a connection piece for these guys. But I would like it if I could could um, have this piece sit inside. So I've measured it. <laughs> Got to bring it in quite a bit. So let's see if this works. I don't know if it will. So I'm going to get it pretty wet inside and out. I've had all of these under plastic so that um, I can continue to work for it with them. So we're going to give this a try and see if we can't squeeze this in some. Luckily, the bottom, my throat, my throat's thick on purpose, not for this purpose, but um, just so that um, they'd be sturdy. So I have plenty of clay to work with. It's probably about half an inch thick down here at the base. But before I throw another connection piece, I figured I'd give this a try. Not out of anything. Trying not to get it too wet. What is just amazing? Double check my measurement. actually worked.
so many little adjustments. But that's actually kind of fun. It's challenging. You'll have to let me know. I like being challenged out here. I'm going to cut the bottom off and, and uh, So it sits kind of right in the middle. All right, we're going to call that good. <laughs> okay, so this is the middle piece, or second from the bottom, and probably my third biggest piece, not um, with the, if you count the, the uh, donut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little spinner in the middle and pick a line, pick a colored line. It has a bunch of lines on it in different colors so that if you pick that color and you mark those, it comes out even apparently. I've actually never used it. It's been in my drawer for probably a year. And I'm thinking... Um, I have no idea which line I should pick. I kind of need an instruction manual to go with this. All right, so I actually can't read it, so I need to read my readers. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four green ones. One, two, three, four, five. Pink ones. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna go with purple. Love purple. So, there's a purple. There's a purple. This one's actually under there. Oops, don't move it. And then this one. Okay, so now I'm going to use the ruler to kind of make marks on the bottom. that up so I can see it. This is one of the reasons why I absolutely love my kick wheel is because I can just minutely move my wheel. Just with my feet.
I'm actually noticing a problem. I need to <clears throat> get this higher up. So I'm going to grab my banding wheel. Actually, I think I'm going to grab both of them. I could move this to the table and sit down, but All right, that's better. Let me raise you up now. All right, let's give this a go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that same thing I did before. Whoops, I carved through it. I'll have to fix that. Obviously, I'm thinner up here on top than I thought I was. All right, so. I'm going to put one in between now. I want more of them. This has been a super fun project. It's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> I actually dreamed about it last night. So I know I'm going to be doing more of these. Okay, don't go through. Oh, they went through. So I've got this one side obviously a little thinner. So I'm going to have to patch that all up. That's actually super cool, except for going through. So I'm going to take the sponge and clean that all up, get all the goobers off, soften the edges. And then I will patch that and I'll probably do that off camera. <laughs> I'm just going to score and put some clay on the inside. And then this one is done. So now I've got a, the last one I have to do. Nope, I've got two more things to do. Um, I need to do the base. I, got, I still haven't set on a design on the base. 
And then I've got to do, I wanted to do like a heart in the middle or something in the middle of the donut base. So I need to do that. And then this can sit and dry out. Well, under plastic, most of these pieces, some of them have already dried out. I've already left them because they're pretty simple. Just connection pieces without a lot of decoration. All right, so I'll take this off and set this over here and patch it. <laughs> Hi, pottery peeps. So you just watched me finish this piece. I actually um, had it upside down when I colored it in and it actually worked. <laughs> so that was super fun. And then this is the side that I cut through and I have scored and patched clay on the inside so that that's no longer the case. There are no holes there. You can't even tell that I messed it up. <laughs> Pottery is all about problem solving. So there is a piece that goes here and it's a small one. To, I threw it off the hump and it's round. It's in the kiln. Um, but this will kind of give you an idea, actually. It's so much fun. It's like, this is like Legos for potters. <laughs> Super cool. So it will sit, actually it's going to sit here, but um, you can see that I'm not going to leave it there, but it gives you an idea of where I'm going. If you can remember, actually... It's hard to remember. So this piece is that middle one right there. This one right here is kind of what I was going for and I think I achieved it. I didn't get the collar like this, but that's okay because I got a round one. That's the piece that's gonna go there. But what I really like about this is these two pieces repeat the pattern. So this will be at the top. This one will be the um, second one up from the base. Um, and I think it'll be really cool. I like the fact that it's patterns repeating uh, to kind of tie it in, but um, they're very much their own pieces. So that's this one. And two more videos to go. <laughs> Tomorrow's, or no, it is tomorrow. It is Monday. It's, it's 10 after midnight. That's the way I roll. Um, so I'm going to get this one up tonight. And then it's the, it's the base, which turns out nothing like this. <laughs> but I'm actually really happy now that I've been able to sit with it for a while with how it turned out. So I will get that one uploaded on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is the piece or pieces that sit in here. And then um, these ones are bone dry, they're ready to be fired. This one I just unwrapped today. I did let it cover under plastic longer because, you know, patchwork, you know, stitches and somewhat, you know, we had to do a facelift on it. And so we wanted time for all the moisture content to equalize and uh, let it dry so it didn't crack. Um, I still risk the fact that it might crack, crack in the kiln, but I don't think so. I did a pretty good job of, um, I basically scored this, added uh, a slab of clay, a small slab of clay over um, the inside, and then I smoothed it in really, really well on the front. So I think it'll be just fine. In fact, I uncovered this just a couple hours ago, and I'm going to leave it uncovered. And... Then the only ones to still dry out are, well, this one still has to dry out. There's still moisture in this one. 
is the base and then the one there. So hopefully we can do a bis fire uh, by the end of the week if I have enough for a full kiln and then glazing it next week. So anyway, that's it for tonight and I'll get this uploaded so you can see how I fixed this one had issues, how I fixed all the issues and made it work for this totem. Thank you so much for um, coming along on this really fun journey with me and um, all the stories that you're telling me, the comments that you're leaving and uh, the things that you're going to make. And I think it's just pottery, clay, it's just amazing. So many different things we can do with it and so many ways to express ourselves. And I really do appreciate all of you guys going on this with me and I can't see what you're going to make and I can't wait to see this finished. I'm already got my wheels spinning in my head on what I'm going to make next. I have definitely reached my um, pottery totem phase and I might be here a while because I'm just enjoying myself way, way too much. All right, you guys go get some sleep. Well, I'm going to go get some sleep, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just too excited to sleep. So anyway, have a good one. Go get money and uh, share with me what you're making.